Welcome to Inside the Film Room. I'm Krista Nurgle. Today we'll talk men's and women's hoops, recap the games, and have a preview of the next. We start with head men's basketball coach Matt Figure. Coach, the Gubs bounce back after Murray and pick up a road win against Eastern Illinois. What did you learn about your team at Murray State? Uh, you know, I learned that, that um, Murray's really good. Uh, that's one thing. Uh, I learned that, that Murray plays with a lot of energy and a lot of toughness. Um, you know, I felt like uh, we reverted back to some of the things that were hurting us earlier in the year. Um, and uh, we still got room to grow. Uh, I, I felt like we took some steps back in the Murray game as far as uh, giving them points off turnovers and things like that, things that we hadn't done throughout our winning streak. And uh, we bounced back against Eastern Illinois and and didn't make the same mistake. So that, that was, that, I was happy for that. Absolutely. You've had an assist to turnover ratio of better than two to one in two of the last three games. Has ball be control become a recent focus? That's been, been our focus the entire year. And, uh, you know, uh, the, the CMO game, we turned it over nine times. Uh, it, we're, we're given 10, but I made us turn the ball over one time. But, uh, you know, and then against uh, Eastern, we turned it over, I think, eight. And so that's the type of ball control. And that, that's guys getting more comfortable with our offense. That's guys' the role definition playing um, a bigger part. That's guys learning where to get shots in the offense. And so that's been a, a, a contribution to, to our two to one assist to turnover ratio. And um, good teams figure out as the season goes on where to get their shots in their offense, where to score, and things like that. And we've been doing that. And that's why we are where we're at in, in league play. You visited Tennessee Tech and Jacksonville State earlier this season. Is it easier to host teams after you've already faced them, or would you rather take extra knowledge into a road contest? Um, you know, I, I think when you play teams on the road, I, I think um, you know you, you get a you get your team medal gets tested. So uh, you got to figure out how to uh, not only make adjustments from playing on the road, and uh, you got to figure out how to defend your home court. And so um, we, we've, got, we've got two tough challenges, which we split uh, those guys. We, we lost to Tech and we beat Jacksonville State. Both, both teams present different challenges for us. So um, the one thing we do know is that we're comfortable at home and, and we know if we want to continue to be in the league race, we have to win our home games. You mentioned you dropped the first meeting at Tennessee Tech. What were some lessons learned in that first meeting with the Eagles? Uh, it goes back to uh, they were physical. Um, they, they came at us uh, inside. Uh, they also, um, th that turnover, assisted turnover thing you're talking about, uh, we turned the ball over way too much the first time we played them, and they were able to score 24 points off of our turnover. So that was the biggest thing I took away from that, and we've got to be able to handle their pressure. They're known for, for being tops in the league or up in the top of, of, of forcing turnovers and getting steals. So we've got ball security is a must. With Jacksonville State and Tennessee Tech, the teams immediately behind the Govs in the standings. This is a big week. Um, how much of an advantage is it to play these big late season games at home? Oh, it's terrific. I mean, you'd rather I'd rather be sitting here getting ready to play these games uh, at home than going on, having to go on the road uh, if we were sitting in the same position because uh, we have familiarity. We've won here. Um, you know, we, we, we've had fans support behind us. Uh, so we've done the, some of the hard stuff, and that's winning home games. And so uh, to have these two this week at home makes you more comfortable than knowing you got to go on the road to, to take those games on. Thanks, Coach. Best of luck. The Govs host Tennessee Tech Thursday at 7.30. Pack the down. Now, coming up, we'll visit with Coach David Midlake. Stay with us. Welcome back to Coach David Medlick. The Govs picked up a win over Eastern Illinois. They fought back from a tough road loss to Murray State. Coach, three players in double figures at Murray State. What was your evaluation of the offense against the Racers? Well, we shot near 50%, and we did have three in double figures. Uh, I did think we settled for too many three-point shots against their zone. And obviously, defense, we had our struggles in that game. And uh, we had to learn from it and uh, bounce back quickly for our game versus Eastern Illinois on Saturday. 
you won the bench battle in both games this week, getting 27 and 16 point lifts from your bench players. How important is their production heading into the final stretch of conference play? Extremely important. You, uh, you want to try to limit minutes from your starters at this time of year, uh, get a solid rotation of players when they come in the game and not only can provide a spark defensively, but score some points for you. Uh, it's big. Keisha Gregory was unstoppable at Eastern Illinois. What led to her offensive production? Well, we, uh, we've been wanting her to do that every single game, and she's capable of it. And she has really been, uh, the only word to describe it is a trooper for us. Uh, she's you know, playing with uh, her shoulder not at 100%, both of her legs not at 100%, and she, uh, she has battled for us, she's battled for her teammates, and she had a, a career high of 27 up in Charleston on Saturday. Amazing. You dominate the Panthers on the glass with a plus 17 rebounding margin. What is the difference maker for your team on the boards? Energy, actually, just crashing the glass and going to the boards when the ball is shot. Uh, it's amazing how the basketball will find you if you will give some energy and, and go towards the basket. And we also want to and try to teach them how to how to see the basketball coming off uh, on shots if they know you know or think it's going to miss and get into the op opposite side. But it's mainly an energy thing. Looking ahead, you had 19 turnovers at Murray and 16 against Eastern Illinois. How can you take care of the ball against two teams this week who really make you pay for turnovers on the offensive end? Yeah, it's, it's keeping it a priority. It's making sure that you understand that it's your responsibility to take care of the ball until it gets into your teammates' hands. And uh, we have to make it a priority in practice that uh, we're not going to turn the ball over when we go live uh, today and tomorrow, getting ready for our game on Thursday and then again on Saturday. Tennessee Tech struggled early in conference play, but is on a two-game road winning streak. What are the keys to getting a win against the Golden Eagles? Well, we obviously are going to scout them and, and feel where we have some advantages maybe on offense, but overall it's effort and energy. They are playing those two road games they won with an extreme amount of effort and energy and, and played, uh, played Belmont close in this last game as well too. So uh, they are, uh, at this time of year, you are fighting to get into the conference tournament or you're trying to improve your seeding and, and Tennessee Tech's no different. Tennessee Tech has four players averaging in double figures. How will you slow down their offensive production? Yeah, they've... Uh, They've shot the ball well and have a lot of confidence from those last two wins and uh, that comes down to scouting. We're going to try to take away what some of those players do best and make them maybe go to option B or C, but it goes back again. Uh, I know I sound like a broken record, but it's, it's energy and effort. A win against Jacksonville State would split the regular season meetings between the two of you. What is your focus ahead of the matchup with the Gamecocks? Yeah, the first thing that comes to mind with Jacksonville State is physical. I, I think they are one of, if not, if not the most physical team in the conference, and, and it goes again with the energy and effort we're going to have to play with. We're, we're going to get bumped. We're going to get pushed. Uh, they're going to try to push us out of our offense. and so. Uh, we got to have a tough mindset for 40 minutes that if something goes wrong, we got to go on to the next play and stay in the moment. Thanks, Coach fans. Make sure you pack the dun for this Thursday. Coming up, we go one on one with Zach Potter. Zach Lotta, guard for the Governors. Zach, talk about your progression as a point guard. You're scoring more off the dribble and defending guys well this season. What's been the biggest reason you're growing as a player? Um, I think it's just confidence. I think over the course of this season, um, just a new team, um, just getting comfortable um, with the guys and with the coaching staff and just coming into my own role. So confidence has played a huge part um, in this success lately. You and your teammates have the media's preseason predictions taped up in the locker room. The Govs were picked last. So what goes through your mind when you see that on a daily basis? Um, first, to start the season, it was you know trying to prove everyone wrong. Um, and now more so, it's just to seeing that and um, remembering where everyone um, kind of had us at and just knowing our worth. You know, We feel like we're one of the best teams in the conference, and um, that just serves as a reminder. You played Tennessee Tech earlier in the season. What's going to be key in picking up a victory to make that push for a better seed in the tournament? Yeah, well, the first time around, um, they dominated dominated us in the paint. Um, their guards were able to, you know, crack us. And um, I think just defense as a whole, transition defense, um, is something that we're going to focus on and um, just pressuring them, making them turn the ball over, um, and keeping them out of paint. 
you guys are 11 and 2 at home this season. The next two matchups are big in terms of the OVC tournament. How can the Gov Faithful play a part in making it a tough environment for Tech to walk into on Thursday night? Yeah, um, the Gov Faithful um, is just any home crowd um, can get behind their team, push them. Uh, momentum plays a huge role in games. You know, we've seen that on the road. Um, and we've seen that at home in the past year, you know, when we're able to go on runs um, and the you know, home crowd can get behind us and um, kind of spur those moments on. This is your third season here with the Governors. Have you been able to get involved in the community at all? Yeah, um, as of right now, uh, I serve uh, as a youth leader at Life Point Church as well as being involved in FCA. So I've gotten opportunities, you know, to speak at high schools and middle schools and work with some of the younger athletes in the area. Um, and just Clarksville as a whole is just, um, just it's home, home away from home for me. Exciting news personally, the last month or so, what's that? Yeah, uh, I did. I got engaged um, December 9th and uh, I'm getting married May 19th to Ashley Slay, the famous uh, volleyball player. Very good, congratulations to Thank you, you both. All Thank right, you. thanks so much. Gov Nation, you heard it all. Pack the Dunn Center. Both teams host Tennessee Tech on Thursday. The women tip off at 515 and the men will follow that matchup. For tickets, head over to our website at letsgop.com and follow our updates on our social media sites at Austin P W B B and Austin P M B B. Thanks so much for watching Inside the Film Room. I'm Chris Nurgle. We'll see you next time.